Hi guys, welcome to my channel Windsor Medals. My name's Paul. I'm just showing you a set of medals I've caught mounted. If you notice they're overlapped a bit. Anything after five medals we overlap them because if you put them side by side, especially if you got to like seven, eight, nine, ten medals, it's just not practical to wear on a uniform and it's just literally too wide for when you're swinging your arm, for example, the board would just get in the way so that's why we overlap the medals after five medals so we're going to talk a little bit about this group of medals in a minute especially the um navy long service medal there on the end but first of all i'll just show you i'll zoom into the medals so you can have a real good look at them close up and then we'll go on to talking a bit about them so i'll just give you a close up So there you go, I'll give you a, a good close up. Just as a side point, if you noticed on the Northern Ireland General Service Medal, see there's some like little chips to the side of the profile of the Queen there. You normally get those chips if the medals have been swung mount at some point and they're not like static st sewn to the board, they actually can move easily when they're swing mounted and they tend to get little chips where the metal hits the metal so just if you're wondering why that was like that but obviously if you look at all the rest of the medals they're pristine with no marks on them whatsoever so obviously this guy's had his medals caught mounted since the early days of maybe he just had the cypress and the northern ireland medal at the beginning and then he's collected all the rest after obviously okay guys so we'll just have a quick chat about the individual medals now so on this group so the first medal is the united nations medal for cyprus this one here with the uh, light blue colored ribbon with the white stripe flanked by the darker blue stripes it's a lovely ribbon i've always liked that ribbon so next door to that, we've got the General Service Medal for Campaign Service. There's different campaign services that qualify for this medal. In this case, it's a Northern Ireland Campaign Service. So next to that, we've got the Golden Jubilee 2002, the Diamond Jubilee 2012, and then the Platinum jubilee which was 2022 just coincidentally the ribbon for the platinum medal is a combination of the three previous jubilee medals i.e the silver jubilee the golden and the diamond jubilee it's got that color in that ribbon to represent the three previous jubilees so the silver jubilee is the outer silver stripe the golden jubilees the blue stripe and then the red stripe um is the diamond jubilee so on the end of the group is the navy long service and good conduct medal this medal was instituted on the 24th of august 1831 by the order of the council the ribbon's a dark blue ribbon with white edges and that's the ribbon's been like that since 1848. Previously the ribbon was just plain dark blue colour so that was the first type. So the medal's a silver medal. The size of the medal's 36 millimetres which is slightly larger than the first long service medal. For the navy the first the class one that come out was just slightly smaller i think it was about 34 millimeters so they've uh, made it a little bit bigger now so the description 
of the front of the medal it's a side profile of the sovereign's effigy of the reigning monarch at the time the reverse of the medal it's a three-masted broadside view of hms victory which coincidentally was lord nelson's flagship at the battle of trafalgar in 1805 the ship is encircled by a rope tied with the wreath knot at the bottom and on the back there there's the words for long service and good conduct. The recipients of this medal are from for the uh, Royal Navy and the Marines and to qualify for the medal you've got to do 15 years of undetected crime, <laughs> no, 15 years of uh, good service. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick video about this group of medals. Um, just on a side note, just something flashed out through my mind then. Um, a lot of the Navy personnel do have their medals swing mounted going back a few decades ago. I think virtually all naval personnel more or less had their medals swing mounted going back in the day. But over the years, um, over the last 10, 20 years, I think a lot of the senior officers of the Navy started getting their medals court mounted and then um, senior non-commissioned officers did as well. And then obviously more and more personnel from the Navy do not have their medals court mounted. Anyway, sorry about that. It was just a quick side note that just flashed through my head there. So yeah, thanks again for watching this short video. Hope you've enjoyed seeing these medals. They're amazing medals. They look really good. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate that. I'm trying to grow the channel. It's pretty hard to get subscribers, although I'm very pleased I'm getting subscribers. I get a few each day, which is amazing. So I want to just keep growing the channel. So I'll be bringing you lots and lots of uh, content about British medals, British military, tailoring jobs, all sorts of stuff like that. So once again, thanks ever so much for watching and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.